Hey guys, it's Kate of All Trades, and I'm very happy to announce that I'm one of the ambassadors for Veganuary Singapore 2021. Veganuary is the practice of veganism in the month of January, and throughout this process, I will be documenting my discovery of plant based foods in attempts to break the stigma that meat free is boring. So join me on my Veganuary journey and let's learn something together. First day of Veganuary. I made fried rice. And it's so delicious. Do you like it, Clarissa? It's great. It's good. Delicious. Our friends are super nice to make vegan salad for me and prepare vegetables. Thanks, guys. Oh my god, look what I'm missing out on. So we're making sorbet in this machine, a thermal mix. Maybe we should get one. We're about to see what it can do. We're about to see what it can do. Eventually, we have a sorbet. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. We need to think about getting one. Our friends Mike and Noel had a baby, and then they sent us some delicious snacks. And because it's Veganuary, obviously, I'll probably not be able to eat it. Let's see the ingredients. Maybe I'll call them up and ask them if it is vegan friendly. What are the odds? Hi, I received a box of your kue, and I wanted to ask if, by any chance, any of your kue is vegan friendly. Like no butter, no eggs, no coconut milk. I know, sorry, no, no regular milk. And then what is that? What, what, what is the one that you just said before? Oh, the rice one, is it? Oh, sure. There are some foods that are accidentally vegan. This one! It's called Jiu Chen Gao. And this one, it's just glutinous rice and brown sugar. So today my cousins are here, it's Saturday, it's also the second day of Veganuary and last week I agreed to make risotto for them yes. forgetting that there is parmesan cheese so I'm gonna have to make an alternative for myself and then only add the parmesan at the end Are you ready to help me? Yes! yes. Yay! Thank you family! It's a little bit sticky but it's gonna be flavorful and mine is the vegan version Before you try your non-vegan version, I want you to try the vegan one it tastes amazing. <laughs> and the flavor is very full actually. Oh, good. Like, you don't feel like you need anything. Right? That's perfect. Thank you. So, we're at a friend's house for New Year's dinner. And this is all I can eat, really. Marianne, can you eat a chicken for me? Mm. Is it good not? It's very juicy. Uh, I'll take another bite for me, thank you. Oh, yes. It's full already, thank you. Hi, can you please eat this for me? Thank I will, you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, not at all. I just love watching people eat things that I cannot eat. What's good about Starbucks is they have now a meatless option. So if you're not vegan but you'd like to try going meatless, there are options at Starbucks. Good job, Starbucks! So right now I'm in Don Don Donkey in search of a soy sauce that doesn't have dashi or any fish sauce in it. One eternity later. I found one. Do you realize it's a oil, not a sauce? But it says sesame oil mm. oil. I regret not being able to read Japanese at this moment. Mm. Mm. Kelp means it's got more umami, right? This is just soy sauce. Success! The vegetable tendon, it has a variety of vegetables. We asked if the batter contains egg, and they're like, no, actually it's just tempura flour and water. That's why we're here. All right, so these are the trio of vegan and gluten-free dips by Loaded Gun Kitchen. The packaging is just so damn cute. Check it out. It's super badass. The flavors are carrot kimchi hummus, sweet miso cashew cream, and kombucha barbecue pinto bean smokeout. The founder of these trio of dips is Lynn. I love that she also became vegan for one month, just as I'm doing right now. It's showed her how much flavor can be derived from purely plant-based ingredients. That is so totally true, guys. I really didn't know that vegan foods 
can be so damn tasty. Apparently, you can use these as straight up dips, pasta sauces, condiments, marinades, toppings for green bowls, pizzas. Hmm, even fries and instant noodles. Oh my gosh, there's like so many different ways to use this. Oh, I've always wanted to make like bread twisty rolls. Okay, that's what I'm gonna make. It smells so good, I wanna eat it. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good! I should say so myself. Check it out. Extra sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It really is an umami bomb. Right now we're at the supermarket because we need to eat better. And Tian gave us a list of foods to take note of. We're so wary of avocados because they're never ripe. So you can see it looks ready. And yes. Oh, cool, okay. Soy cream. Oh my gosh. What are you doing here? Hello? This is for vegetarian and vegan items only, excuse me. I think this is gonna go perfectly with the uh, broccoli soup that we're making. Alright, lunch is served. So today I was really really craving mala and like where can you get vegan mala? Flavors by Saute at the basement one of Nan. That looks so creamy. So good. Asam fish curry. Mm. Does it taste like fish? Yeah, just a little bit. So we ordered sambal for Thai and fish with brown rice as well as a silky tofu soup. And this is the mushroom chashu dry noodle. It looks so good. It's so fresh and so flavorful. Put down the camera, you eat. Here we have white radish with a tablespoon of mirin, a tablespoon of sake, a tablespoon of light soy sauce, and a pinch of salt. And for the gyoza filling, beyond meat and frozen peas. Easy, because I was lazy. Have I tofu lately that I love you? That's really Every day is fries day. You should tell your friends to order this. <laughs> There's two cheeses inside here. One of them is homemade cashew cheese. Damn, it's so juicy and delicious. Soup spoon pumpkin soup, which apparently is their only vegan item on the menu. And corn fishless fingers. I went into Veganuary thinking it's all about plant-based diets, but I realized I have so much to learn. Oreos are technically vegan-friendly. How? Maybe I should reach out to some actual vegans and interview them on their philosophies. I'm sure there's so much more to be discovered. Oh my god, red wine is not vegan! Mind blown. 
So if you guys have enjoyed this so far and learned something with me, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, please remember to comment down below if you have any vegan recipes to recommend or plant-based restaurants for me to try. And I'll see you next time.